The Pembroke Police Boys Club has been around since 1979. The club was started by then Sergeant Bill Bolter as a way to help kids in the community. Today the club is still going strong, featuring boxing, karate and weightlifting, but is also looking for some help with building renovations. The club took over the town-owned building in 1979 and has not used any tax money for its renovations or repairs. PCN visited the 1896 building to see what was really going on inside. This is the Pembroke Police Boys Club. Um, this is the top floor, um, mostly used for karate to teach uh, uh, some of the uh, younger um, kids in town uh, self-defense and discipline and uh, respect and uh, all those things that young kids should be doing today. Um, we uh, took over the building in uh, 1979 and we spent uh, quite a bit of time doing, doing everything over inside of the building and outside of the building um, to make it suitable for um, those three different sports. A lot of them now today that have come out of the club here um, are military officers, um, uh, state police officers, regular local police officers, and they've turned out to be really good kids for the community. My name is Alexandra and um, in addition to my full-time job I fight professionally. I turned pro in 2009 and uh, the Pembroke Police Boys Club is kind of my home base for training. It's, uh, it's my, uh, my, my place where I usually get ready for my fights. Eventually down the road we started volunteering here and now we, uh, we teach the Thursday class. Um, we have obviously a bunch of kids, teenagers. Um, here who are, who are here to learn boxing and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great. Um, so as far as our time, um, it's all volunteer work um, and a lot of people in the community just really help out and contribute and give donations to the club and so forth, um, as well as the um, kids who work out here and you know everybody pays the dues obviously towards the support of the club. Um, we try to make sure the place runs smooth and stays clean and you know is maintained and, um, and that we can provide everybody with classes and a place to come and work out after school. There's a lot of repairs and things that we need. We need some equipment. Um, we need some uh, repairs to some of our electrical and uh, plumbing and the heating system. Um, it's all old. It's, it's all old and archaic. And the original sign for the Pembroke Police Boys Club um, is, a, is a little unique because um, the Y in the middle stands for youth. Um, and we teach karate, boxing, and weightlifting. Um, the three different sports that, that we um, have been teaching here for years. Um, the rope that goes around the outside of the sign is nautical for Pembroke because Pembroke was a shipbuilding community and it's also uh, part of the town seal. So when you look at the Pembroke town seal you see the rope that goes around the outside of the sign. I've actually come out of retirement and I'm coming back to the boys club to teach. So. Um, I have been going myself back to karate classes to get uh, some of the dust uh, shaken off and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll get back. Uh, I'm actually contacted a lot of the first students that came here um, and see if they have an interest in, uh, in coming back and getting their black belt and stuff. I think boxing is an incredible workout. I think that um, you know a lot of people take up boxing not in order to fight and actually get in the ring, but just for the workout routine. Um, it just requires incredible amount of conditioning and cardio and everything else. And usually, you know, everybody that takes it up seriously enough to do it two times a week ends up losing a lot of weight and getting in a really good shape. Um, and I also think it's, you know it's a good outlet. Um, you know, after a stressful day, at least personally, I enjoy it. We'd really appreciate some uh, some help to keep the historic building up and to keep it open for the kids. We need to have the community jump in like they did back in 1980 um, to help us out and, uh, and make it a better place for the kids.